we've been talking about the songwriting that was prevalent in the 60s, 70s, and 80s, and how there was an internal structure that was made up of the harmony or chords and the melody that doesn't really exist right now. So here's a practical guide for contemporary songwriters to get back to that sound. Let's organize our chords into two rows. The first row, row is going to be primary chords. So if I'm in the key of G major, that's Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Ti, Do, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. And our secondary chords, which is a combination of the secondary dominance that you learn about in harmony class um, with and the addition of the minor four chord. So five of four, five of five, five of six, minor four, and five of two. Okay, so with these two rows of chords, you can write vastly more interesting songs. Let me give you an example. I'm going to start on one. One, four. Secondary, five of six, six, two, five, six, five of six, four, minor four, three, five of two, two, five, five of four. So notice that I was able to extend the phrase basically as long as I wanted by using a mixture of those primary and secondary chords.